how y'all doing this session so I know I've been gone for quite a bit of time but yeah uh, a lot of videos are gonna be rolling in now so you can see a lot of videos are coming bold coming but uh, there's gonna be a lot of videos in a very short period of time but let's get on with it so I'm gonna give you two pieces of tech today a lot of gym players have been asking me for the second one but the first one a lot of gym players don't know in fact I don't think anyone knows so Julia has got a throw which you know is called the axis now if I do it like this I can store the throw also if I do it this way I can sidestep and do the throw if I do it this way I can also sidestep and do the throw now what is the point of doing that well the point of doing that is because you have different different throws you know we've got one plus two uh, we've got one plus two we've got a one break you know two break and so on like that <coughs> now the reason why it's so good to store a throw is because now you can do it more faster you can execute the throw more faster and because you can execute the throw more faster it means that when you do the throw it actually makes it really strong you know so makes it strong against your opponent because now they can't tell what am I gonna do you know what am I gonna do so it's making that mind game right there it's putting that mind game right there in their face and they don't know what to do about it <coughs> now go ahead and move forward I've got a bit of a sore throat but anyways <coughs> Jin has got something like this this is in the form of complicated wire now before I move on I will say this now quarter circle back the way you do this throw for xbox players is quarter circle back into x plus a so yeah quarter circle back into x together with a with well together with a will give you this throw now if you hold the punch button which is you know x or square or left punch or one and then do quarter circle back yeah, so pretty much how this is done quarter circle back into square together with x or quarter circle back into one plus well one together with three or we rather say plus but yeah one plus three or t you know or for ps4 players it will be quarter circle back into square plus x and for pc players it will be quarter circle back into left punch together with the right punch I mean it'll be quarter circle back uh, right left punch together with left kick so for PC players it'll be quarter circle back into left punch together with the left kick so that will give you this now if you do hold the punch button or you hold the kick button which is in the you know the inputs of this throw then you'll be able to get this throw easy now I will show you a few things before I show you how to store the throw but let me just do this okay so I go backwards yeah now if my opponent wakes up backwards what do I get well I get a forward 4 now a forward 4 does actually quite a bit of damage not just because this throw does 40 damage in itself so let me do the throw Hold on. You have to time it as well, so you have to be a bit careful. Uh, a bit careful about that. So yeah. Oops. Okay. Eesh. There you go. Now I get 61 damage. If you want to go for the easy option, well then you've got this. Oops. That was supposed to happen. Okay. So is easy option. I don't know why that's happening there you go so back to one is the easy option for you it would be a lot more easier because you don't have a messed up control like this one but anyways so <coughs> yeah so if you do a forward 4 you'll be able to hit it and get 61 damage if your opponent wakes up backwards and if you want to go for easy option then you can go for back to 1 so let me just hold it time. there you go easy or you can do a forward forward 2 this one would be a little trickier but you can get 6 forward damage as well and you get you know a wall splat which will probably go up to about i would probably say 90 damage or more but that is besides the point so 
if there is stand up now if there's stand up then it's a bit more different because I won't be able to hit a forward four see now I will put myself into danger however I can you know do a forward four and not go into stance and what that'll do is not it's like it's you know it's like it won't hit him or hit her but what will happen is I will hit the person and you know they'll block it so I won't hit them but I'll make them block to hit the attack here and I'll backdash so pretty much I throw them I do the kick I backdash and I see what they do and then I read, you know I read that what they did and I tell you based on what they did so now moving a bit more forward you know if they front roll or anything like that then pretty much I can get a forward four still but it does do less damage as you can see you know also if you hit a forward four it is plus 11 so you know and if you time this right and they you know do a back roll or well it's front roll but it looks like a back roll but anyways they do a front roll and you time that right then you can get all of that damage which you just saw right there okay now if they side draw left or side draw right what's up with that now if they do this then you know you won't be able to hit a back to one however you will be able to do something like this so this is a little demonstration I will chuck them see yeah you can also do that thing like that but you know it does mess up at times so you have to be very careful about how to kind of do this little move right here because as you can see it does miss a lot of the times so except if you're against big characters then it's a little different but you can do a down four yeah well you can also do that but you know <laughs> Uh, give me a second so you can do a down four like that or you can if you want to be a bit more safer with it then you can actually do something like this you know you do that and it will actually track them both sides because you can actually delay this so you can see although you need to delay but you know that's pretty much what you get and 55 damage is alright damage to be honest they do mid kick well then you know whoops don't know why that happened but anyways let me just try to get this oh, there you go so they do mid kick you get this now it does look well it does look inconsistent when i do it but the only you know the only reason it's inconsistent when i do it is because this controller is a is a pain but anyways so that is pretty much what it is and uh, yeah so let's go a bit more forward now it's pretty much there's just recovery kick and so on same thing as that and spring attack as well same thing as mid and low kick well same thing as the low kick so <coughs> now we're gonna show you how to store the throw gonna show you what it looks like first this is how it looks like and if you're still not you know you don't believe me that I stored it then you know it has this one as well it's a little bit more trickier but you know give me a second oops so pretty much there you go see so it's a bit more easier if you do like a uh, forward and cause like a buck for this one in here so you can see now i am storing it and then i am side stepping see that yeah obviously be a lot more easier upon you you know as i said before you'll all be able to do this a lot more easier than i can but you know that is what it is now not only can you you know start this throw by going forwards even though it's a bit more trickier you know well not trickier but it's a little tricky trying to do this for me right now um but yeah so not only can you store this throw by going forwards, yeah. A bit more easier when you press forward, you know, like half second back. But anyways, not only can you do it like that, but you can also, you know, um, crouch as well. So pretty much if I show you, hold on, see? 
So pretty much I crouch and then do the throw. So I'll give me a second. A bit more tricky trying to do it like this, but yeah. There you go, see? So <coughs> I crouched and then I did a throw and I managed to get boom like that. So yeah. And you saw the inputs as well, shut down, so yeah. Okay, so yeah. Now I've shown you how to actually store the throw and you know if you don't like leave me that actually crouch then I'll show you again. Just a little tricky so now you can see give me a second I'll do that again oops oops yes yeah, so let me just see if I can do it again oops Okay, so mm. <coughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so yeah, so let me just get this. I'll show you again. Oops, there you go. So you can see now. I did the down. So I did pretty much half circle back into down yeah even though it says cross circle forward but I didn't do cross circle forward so uh, I did down and then I press back yeah and this throw isn't done by doing cross circle forward by the way you can't do this throw by doing cross circle forward see if I do cross circle forward I'm gonna get it even if I do it from the two button so I can do it see so nothing so yeah now how do you start this throw well the easiest way is to do half circle back yeah into like a side step and then like, press back it's so pretty much what you really want to do is you want to kind of stop at the down back and then you'll be able to get the throw now you can actually get like a mid kind of side step as well but it is more difficult I did show you just a little bit earlier but you know it is very very tricky to do that so yeah okay there we go you have to do it quite quick though so you know there you go so just like that that is pretty much of a, that is pretty much a store so that's how you store the throw so half circle back well half circle into down back and then you press up into a throw or if that don't work out for you then just press half circle back and then press up and then press back and then one plus three quickly it's a very very tricky thing but if you get it, then you can do this kind of stuff and just confuse your opponent greatly you know so yeah but that's pretty much what that is now how is this useful as well as i said before gin is well no actually as i said before so <coughs> Jin is a grab character as well not only is he a poor character but he's also a grab character not only is he an aggressive character but he is also a defensive character now he can be very versatile but this could be in the tutorial anyway so now the reason why he's a grab character is because he's got all the breaks he's got 1 plus 2 he's got 2 uh, he's got 2 my bad so he's got 1 plus 2 he's got 2 he's got 1 and you know those are pretty much all you need now after that you've got the other strong grab as well which is the two throw which is this i'll do it like this in fact yeah there you go in fact i'll do it like that so there you go boom 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 into that and then yeah so now when it comes to this kind of stuff you're able to get good oki and so on you know this is a very very strong grab gives me this gives me so much other stuff as well but yeah that is the first tech done now let's move on so now i'm gonna just put it like this so what's this so now a lot of you will be using now let's take that away so a lot of you will be using this right here so you do this combo right here 65 damage you know not that bad 
or some of you will go for the 64 damage because you want to get that wall and you want to get that wall at a high splat so or like a medium splat really so anyways or uh, you want to do the difficult combo which I don't mind as well I actually like this combo you know so just have to delay that crouch dash a bit more see what I'm saying so yeah and this will pretty much give you 70 yeah, 70 damage so I'll just show you and then we move on oops oops I keep doing it too fast okay there we go kind of there you go so that's the combo 70 damage or you go for the other one which is will be very difficult for some people but yeah then you got this one 70 damage or you've got this one which is a bit less but give you, you know it gives you good wall carry but i was thinking to myself how do i get more damage so what i did is did this see now you're probably thinking well that's not more damage that's just less yeah you're right but now let me delay and see what happens boom 79 damage see that now oh, when do you delay you delay just when he puts his leg like in the middle then boom so middle boom middle boom see when he's like foot goes in the knee which he lifted so the leg which he lifted that shoe goes in the middle of him then you just press 2 and then you'll be able to get this delay attack so yeah now if you want to go for the easier one this will be the easier one it still give you 70 damage plus like that but yeah now you're probably thinking well what happens if my opponent attack rolls well if the opponent attack rolls what will happen is this so you know boom yeah now you have to delay if you don't delay then they will get get out of that because this is what happens if you don't delay you see so yeah. also you've got this option as well so yeah. I can put my opponent in another mix up by doing this and this is plus 17 on hit also safe from block but any um yeah so if i go into stance and stop it safe from block and yes but if the side draw left then this is the events or the outcome of what happens now i'm plus one now you're probably thinking wait how does that make sense how are you plus one well the reason why i'm plus one is because if you didn't know in tekken pretty much if I do a move, this happens for a lot of characters in fact, I think it's for every single character If I do a move which hits at tip range and my opponent blocks the tip range of the move Then I get plus one and plus two is the tip range of this move See the difference so this hits the head, it's middle but it hits the head This hits the body or the leg And this is the same as you can see It hits now the pretty much the, the leg as you can see and now plus two because of the tech roll your opponent is minus anyway and because of that you are now able to hit them with a certain specific property which allows you to get plus frames so because of them tech rolling it kind of the game kind of reads it as they're a bit more further away from you because that because like the move to sides you know because that you get the other damage as well well i mean you get other plus frames as well so yeah that is what happens there now if you do want plus frames you know you just do this so yeah whoops there we go now i'm going to show you this one watch delay and then whoops my bad actually <laughs> wrong one <coughs> So the real actual one for that one is this one. 
so you do this and then boom that will work for both sides because you're delaying this and you're going for the while running this will take a bit of time to kind of learn but if you learn it then pretty much you know you'll be able to be really strong and you'll be able to put your opponent in a lot of mix-ups because now you're pretty much not a lot of characters have this but you're now forcing your opponent to get up in certain certain ways you're telling them i'm going to get up in this way you know i'm going to get up in that way you're pretty much dictating and forcing them to do what you want them when it comes to getting up off the ground see which allows the person that uses this kind of tech to be more aggressive so now let me just show you this one it's a bit tricky because you have to do the wild running and all that especially from stunts anyways so let me delay it that wasn't in the, yeah that wasn't delayed enough so let me just try again boom 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 oops oops Eesh. okay there we go okay uh, close <coughs> Yeah, man, <laughs> but yeah uh, it'd be a lot more easier for you as i said before so you know oops close and messed up again uh, there we go yeah because i updated the uh, west signing for if you didn't know uh the properties about this combo well it's pretty much if you hit them with the west signing for close then you'll be able to hit the combo and or if you kind of you know hit them in the air when they're quite high up then you'll be able to get the combos up pretty much so yeah okay just a little bit more delay on that I mean I was cut down but anyways okay ah uh, man close Oof. it work on big characters better but pretty much this is one way out to get plus and so on so you can also do four four three as well four but let's see if i can there you go so you have to you know you have to delay it for a bit and it is tricky trying to get the timing down but you just practice it and be able to get plus frames on both ways now if they side roll now this is the craziest part about this tech because now if you do boom it will hit them on wake up backwards stand uh, yeah so it hit them on wake up backwards stand up front roll side roll left side roll right mid kick uh, low kick now okay i'm gonna show you something so take off that oh by the way it also hits all these so no need to test it anyways so yeah so watch this Oops, see I didn't hit the West End 4 close at time. Okay, there we go. Oops, okay. You have to hit in the air, I guess then. Okay. So, do electric into that. Okay, so here we go. Boom. 79 damage. And if you want, you can also do this. So, I'll watch what happens if I do that. Ready? So I get 74 damage, but if I do the long combo, oops, oops, okay, then I just delay it for a little bit longer, and let's just see if I can get it. there you go so yeah my bad so you have to crouch dash a little bit so if you crouch dash just a little bit and then you go up like that pretty much you'll be able to get another whole combo like this see so yeah easy <coughs> 
so all of this will get hit by the Zen 2 and if you get up backwards it becomes much more easier because I don't believe, yeah, I believe you don't have to delay it then and a lot of people will get up backwards so yeah oh no actually you don't have to delay my bad so yeah that is pretty much what you, uh, you want to do so it's a little tricky but once you get the timing you've got quite a good thing there so yeah boom 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 as you can see you have to look at the shoe so see what I'm saying oops okay boom 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 and oops okay nearly got it nearly got it there you go so yeah it's a little tricky but if you get it you'll be able to kill that damage also yeah i've got this one which is a bit more nicer if you want that see so you can get something like that and you can add the combo however you want i mean i just showed you just a little bit of a sample there not a sample but just a little example but anyways so yeah it works on every single one of the uh, every single one of the wake ups and you've got something very good there likewise this is your health sweep combo and probably thinking why is that that's not hitting well because you'd have to dash in quite a bit more this is how to do it easier just dash in more and be able to get it like that so as soon as they you know are spinning so they nearly hit the ground then you do the dash or to make it way more consistent you can do the buffer technique which i will explain in the tutorial later oh no i should explain right now so pretty much you hold three and you just run and then press back and you press four while running three which will give you the standing three little example i'm holding three i run i press back plus four and i get standing three i don't hold three and i get this see now i'm gonna try and press back uh plus you know three plus four again and pretty much it's not gonna work out because i need to start holding three you know boom like that i guess so that's pretty much what it is if you wanna kind of um, practice this then you can do this combo right here that I would recommend you do something like hold on so let's see something like this yeah something like this would actually help you a lot and that'll help you get that okay so <coughs> now then health sweep as I said before decent damage you know pretty too damage but I was thinking how could I get more damage this is how you get more damage because see how I got 59 damage now 59 damage just like that yeah and obviously the white side 4 doesn't hit but it is quite strong so yeah but that's all I want to say thanks for watching and uh, yeah well actually one thing I'll say before that so the back three is a lot more stronger here so if i do the forward forward three here it's a lot more stronger so you know do this but yeah anyways that hits uh, back turned and side rolls and tech rolls on both sides but anyways thanks for watching and i'll go for a few more, ca uh, few more cars anyways i'll see you later and uh, yeah be prepared for all the videos thanks for watching see ya